This is Furry Benefici at ZozoBaking.com and I'm so delighted to be here today with you as part of Farheim Foundation Flavor Series. The recipe that I chose for you, it's uh, for a Persian marzipan mulberry candies or as we say in Persian, toot. It's one that is liked by adults and kids and it will be so easy and delicious to make this for Mother's Day that is just around the corner. So to make the toot, what is so wonderful about it that you don't need to use an oven. You can get the kids involved and make, and basically you're making a paste with almond and then you color it. Today I'm gonna to use the saffron for coloring, but I have other um, dough that I made ahead of time with purple and pink and green and other fun. So these three, uh, the pistachio slivered and the sugar, and these are something that I get from um, Wilton and actually Michaels has them. These are sanding sugar that in gold color and it adds a little bit of a uh, beautiful um, shade to the um, mulberries and we add these together with the sugar. But to get started, I just have to say it um, takes about 15 minutes once you have all your ingredients ready. Um, to There is one point about almond meal and almond powder you want to make sure that you get almond powder because almond meal as you can find them at trader joe's um it is a almond powder but with skin it's not blanched but what you want is a blanched almond so you can do it at home if you buy almond regular almond you can blanch them and then you can um, let them dry or just buy regular almond whole almond skinless and use your food processor to grind them yourself. I've been told by a few of my um, clients that that's a little bit of difficulty. They have difficulty to do it at home, but you can jump buy them prepared, uh, already made at Middle Eastern store or at Costco. So first we're gonna mix um, the almond powder that we have in food processor with powdered sugar. Uh, one thing that I didn't mention is make sure you're, and that you have sifted your powdered sugar because sometimes there's lumps in it and it will be very difficult to um, get them off and combine this whole, make it a really nice paste. So um, sift your powdered sugar and add the powdered sugar to this um, first. We're gonna give this a pulse and um, just enough so we don't have any white spots in this mixture and it's all mixed together so we're gonna go ahead and okay do you see right now you can still see at the bottom we have a layer of almonds and on top powdered sugar so we're just gonna mix it really well until it becomes a Nice. Okay, this should be enough. Make sure you get the, with your spatula, get all the way at the bottom so there is no powdered sh sugar or almond powder sitting by itself. Okay. Now it's ready. So one thing that you wanna do, you wanna add the rose water very slowly. Today I added three tablespoons and one teaspoon of almond extract, but you wanna add it very slowly while it's mixing. water if you need to but if you add all the rose water at the same time then if it becomes a, a soft and um, liquidy paste it will be hard to work with so just add it slowly and once you see um, 
the dough starts moving from the side and it goes around the blade, that's when you know your paste is ready. So we're gonna go ahead, add the rest of the rose water. Okay, do you see how it's separating right now? And there's nothing on the side and it's perfectly, you can push it. So at this point, I would add the saffron, just a little bit of the saffron or other colors if you wanna use different coloring, different food coloring. I would suggest you use the gel colors from Wilton not the liquid colors because the liquid will make this paste softer and you don't want that so just get and these colors are very strong they a little bit of it might go a long way so just get a little bit first and add with uh, put your um, toothpick into the dye and put it into the paste and make sure that you give it a good pulse and mix it all together and sometimes i do this section this last part by hand to make sure that the color get distributed evenly throughout the whole paste but the, the color that you want to use definitely gel color wilton it's the best but for today's sake we're going to use saffron so i'm going to just do one brewed saffron one little bit of a teaspoon will be enough for this amount that we have and if you feel like you want to add more you can easily do that just add more saffron but adjust the amount at the beginning because saffron is liquidy and again makes this paste very soft the wonderful thing about this um let me mix this in Do you see how it becomes a ball and it separates from the side? That's when you know you're done. You don't want to over mix almond because almond is very greasy and uh, after mixing it for a long time, it will be very, very difficult to work with. The grease will come out. You want to keep it at this stage. And then once you transfer it from this to your workspace, have some powdered sugar ready and um, Sprinkle some powdered sugar at the bottom at your work surface like this and get transfer the paste from the food processor container to your work surface. Now we have transferred the paste to our work surface, but as you can see, there are some uneven. There is more saffron here than there. So you just give it a good knead the dough and or the paste and make sure it's all well mixed and for making this i would definitely recommend you wearing gloves because this uh, pastry does not require any type of baking so you want to make sure that you're um, keeping everybody and yourself safe so now we have a nice paste that you can easily work with so i will leave this aside and i'm going to use the paste that i already have with different color another so what we're going to do we're going to cut uh, our roll into um, large pea sizes but we try to make them as equally as we can that they are the same size and what we're going to do we're going to take this piece and roll it until you have and it's very pliable and it's very easy to make until you have a round ball then you're going to put it on your work surface like that and you're just going to go around as you go around you turn it and you give it a cone shape just like that so flat at the bottom cone shape on top but you can have fun with your kids you can make them in all kinds of shape that you want you don't have to stick with the traditional and then you get um traditionally we do almond sliver but i think with the um, zaffron one the pistachio looks very nice and then we will stick a pistachio sliver at the bottom at the flat section of it and roll this into the sanding sugar that we have already mixed so this is 
the mix that I, are, I was telling you, the regular sugar with the gold sanding sugar. And you wanna grab a larger bowl or actually a deep bowl. So you can roll this into the sugar and try avoid touching it after you're making these two. So just grab it with your um, spoon and put it in your tray. These Persian mulberries, or as we say, toot, are the wonderful sweet that we serve during weddings and um, engagement parties or anniversaries, especially Noru's. I remember my mom used to make this all the time for Noru's and they're just wonderful, especially the ones with saffron. The aroma of saffron and rose water and pistachio all together. Mm -hmm. Just delicious. I hope you enjoy these and I hope you make them at your home with kids and have a wonderful Mother's Day. Thank you guys for watching.